Hello there everyone, this is Iron Mark 3 and welcome back to my survival mission on From the Depths. I said mission, I should have said run, I'm not entirely sure why, but you know, that is just how it goes sometimes, isn't it? Now then, I have just come back out and come back in again, so there's no gap in the recording this time. I've not lost my save this time, which is great. But nonetheless, I do find myself in a very, very familiar situation, unfortunately. I'll try this shield projector. I don't think I can maintain a big shield at all, but still. Um, can you see what is going on which is similar to things that have gone on before? I suspect you can. Let's reduce the range and increase the... Eight... Okay. Yes, it's these flickering green things going all around my ship. I think it's elevation I want. Yep, elevation dropping like that. Okay, now let's try turning around and see if this is going to help. I have something from the lightning hood bearing down on me. Something which bears me ill will. I need to increase the range a little bit. Okay. Three. Okay. The, the effect strength is not enough. I need to increase the elevation further. Whatever it was has stopped firing. Uh, that doesn't look like the same ship that got me before. But at least with a shield turned its way, it seems to have lost interest in me, and I don't know why. Actually, that's moving rather fast. Small and fast. Hang on. There's something right next to me as well, actually. A Stinger Mark II. Hmm. And the thing over there is a Volta. So yeah, that is Lightning Hood. I think that's a white flare ship over here. It's that little thing that's been buzzing around and didn't engage me before. Hmm. Oh well, if they're not interested in me, I can't say I'm unhappy at the situation. Though I have just lost my resource zone. That means I need to move, and there's a convenient one right there. So sure. Let's go ahead and get over there as soon as I refresh my fuel supply. Yep, that'll do. Okay. Turn and move. Oh, flipping hell. The drag's even worse now. Oh well. My attempt to do a bit of aerodynamics to actually stop it from turning all over the place has not really paid off too well, has it? <laughs> not too well at all. I wish I knew why it was doing this. Stop turning! Ah. Oh well, I'll be back as soon as something happens because I'm, I've got to keep actively controlling. I can't just tell this thing to move off on its own. Okay, and here we are with that uh, lightning hood ship just wandering past me going after whatever it is it's decided to go after. <laughs> and that still does look like a really small patrol craft to me, to be honest. Anyway, moving on. It's time to continue with the expansion efforts for this craft, considering that it is... <sighs> Those ghost blocks just keep getting in the way. Uh... I wish there was a way I could fix that, but I really don't know how. If you know, let me know. Because, honestly, while you've, I've not had really had a chance to show it much, having um, the comments from you guys has actually been helping me a bit. Like, I've got the hood up now on the right side, so I can see generally what my craft is going through. Let's just turn the shield off for the moment, considering I'm okay. Let that um, hood ship just go do whatever it wants, really. Is that an explosion? I think it might be, but I'm I'm just hoping that hood ship gets blown out of the water, really. Anyway, there is a couple of important things I do need to do, actually, while I'm here. And a key one is that my rotors are getting overwhelmed by the sheer weight of my craft. So, I need to expand them a little bit. Just come on. Yep. Why does the frame rate feel like it's actually going down? 
Well, apparently it's running at 19 FPS, so yeah, that's okay. Right. Getting some expansion space for the rotors, so I can just expand them a little bit further. Oh, damn it, that's gone already. That was fast. Oh, at least I've, I'm actually got to, um, I'm sitting on a ton of resources now. Yes, I know this will unbalance it, but okay, there we go. Okay, I have balance. My craft is stable. Well, relatively. Too bad the enemy is uh, so close, but still. Can't have everything, can we? Right. I have resources. I need to decide where I want to go now. Because there's something over there, which is the, the Lightning Hood craft. Which seems to be moving really slow slowly as far as I can tell let's let's check the E thing I am going in the right direction aren't I? No I'm not, it's over this way ooh, hello the Volta is there and heavily damaged and it's facing a lance whatever the heck that is either way, the Volta seems to be down and I think I can intervene. Yeah, I'm going to try and intervene in that. It looks like a fun time. Th this is probably going to end really, really badly. Yep. I can barely control this craft. <sighs> no surprises there. Anyway, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to bomb the hell out of that thing if I can. But for the moment... Stop turning, you... Darn thing. Yes, it's trying to attack me with a cram cannon, I think that is. Luckily, because my craft is turning around so much, I don't have to worry about that really. So, um, I was going to rework my bomber system a bit more, but I think I can take it on as is. And I can't really s just park myself to refit. So, yeah, I'll catch you when I get a little bit closer. Oops, that was a bit close. Okay, I'm definitely closing on that. On that yeah. I'm definitely closing on this thing, and it seems to have more cannons, which is now using try try and blast me out of the air. Luckily, this craft is actually somewhat maneuverable and fast, so I am getting closer. Uh, another comment. I'm sorry, I've um, forgotten your name for the moment. Let's turn out the way of that suggested that I might try to build a. That was way too close. Ooh, <laughs> that just bounced off. That was a bit of dumb luck. So it's much for sloped armor that. Anyway, I'm going to try and get... Oh! I did not see that one coming. Hmm. God damn it. I'm going to have to enable my repair systems now, aren't I? I hate using my repair systems. Because they just keep building everything, including stuff from my previous craft, which is what I don't want them for. See? They're putting a missile launcher on the side of my flipping ship. I wish I knew how to delete that damn stuff, but I don't, so it's something I've just got to contend with. And in the meantime, I've just got to try and stay overhead so this thing can't actually shoot me down. I just wish this thing wasn't circling like this. No turn. That way. Thank you. Luckily, it doesn't seem to have any rear-facing weaponry. Can you understand priorities, you stupid thing? I want you to build the flipping bomb launcher underneath you, please. While I just excise the remains of my previous craft like I don't even care. Oh god, it's building the fuel barrels on top of me again. No, fuel barrels, ammo barrels. Come on, stop doing that, please. Please, pity please. I've got enough drag problems as it is. As long as it doesn't manage to get a shot off at me, that's, um... You know, I'm looking at that thing and I don't recognise the design of it. Not in the least. The hell? Uh... Oh, apparently that's my underneath cannon doing stuff. Right, okay. 
that's a slight problem. Wh oh, what the? The rebuilding built a metal block right underneath my cannon, so it tried to bomb and it blew off part of my... Uh. Stop it. What the hell are you even doing? I swear this is a flipping hazard. I think I've all, I'm clearing out big chunks of it now, so... Hmm. Stop it! Stop building! God damn! Didn't I delete those guys already? Where's that ship? It's over there. Right, turn. Well. What did you catch on this time, you damn thing? I don't even know anymore. The only thing for sure is that this bomb system is seriously faulty. I mean, wow. Ah, that's what it did. It, was, it fired a forward bomb. And it caught underneath the craft and went bang. Okay, note to self. Can't recess bomb launchers. They've got to be revealed underneath the ship. Otherwise they are going to cause serious problems. Wow. Oh well, at least at least now I know what the problem is. And so I can actually get back to bombing without going bang. Which is... Uh, which is slightly preferable, to be quite honest. Eh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Go away. And that go away as well. I'm getting there, slowly. But still. Oh, there's something else coming. Nope, I don't think it's going for me. But I am getting something back from that uh, other ship, though. I just wish that thing would stop, um... Are you going for me? What even are you? I have no idea. Okay, we have something of a rare thing going on here, because that looks like, um... I think that's a Marauder of all things, actually. Hang on. Um, I've, I've been toughing it out with the repair systems, and it's mostly gone, I think. But still, it's insisting on building these last few bits and pieces here and there. Which uh, is still annoying me greatly. I'm sorry for zoning out in the middle of that, but uh, I was just trying to focus and keep this craft even working, so, you know. Oh, and, and through all that, I'm actually low on fuel, so I'm going to have to redo that as well before I quickly check on things. Where's the fuel? There's the... No, there's, there's the fuel. Right. Fuel. Done. Right. Get out of build mode and let's see what's going on. I have a close range encounter between, yep, that is a Marauder and the Lance, which are getting slowly pecked apart by each other and by me. Mostly by each other. I don't think there's anything else just planning to wander in at the moment, so... This is a, me again acting very much like a vulture, trying to pick off what's left of the carcass. Is my ship okay? There's a missile control system I don't want there. Is everything else okay? Yes, I think that that is it for the attempts for the ship to repair itself. So, okay, yeah. I can use automated repairs from now on. That said, though, the bombing is not really going too well now, is it? Not really. I need to keep on t hitting the lance. That's the more dangerous of the two. I also need to do a better flipping bomb system as well. Might help speed things up a little bit. Actually, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to skip ahead now, because this is just going to be me floating over some crafts, bombing the hell out of them again, like it was before, so I'll catch you when I get back, and... 
when something more interesting happens. In the meantime, I'm going to try and expand my bombing capacity to let me better deal with this. Okay, I just thought I'd pop back in now because, um, as you can see, the lance is getting slowly but surely pummeled. <laughs> I am killing it slowly. It killed the mar marauder like, um, I think, five or ten minutes ago now. So, yeah, it got the kill for that, but I'm killing it, and I will get it eventually. Just... It's going to take a little bit, that's all. And I'm still trying to do it with that flipping bomb that I've got. Though, actually, not the same bomb. I probably should stress that. Let's get back out of E so I can qu quickly show you. Um, as you can see, the craft has grown a little... Oh, dear. The craft has grown a little bit. It's um, not quite as fast as it was, but it's a bit bigger. It's got stability now. And the bomb has been reworked, so it's not catching on the underside anymore. So that is an, a huge plus. And it's got... Uh, well... It's also been expanded to cover the entire underside of the craft, basically. So it is firing faster. And it's also hitting harder, because I've increased the gauge of it as well. So, hooray for upgrades, I suppose? It's doing its job, no matter what the case. I mean, I'm getting some resources from it. But I am now a little bit worried, considering I saw that... Uh, that big thing in the distance. Oh. <laughs> I recognise that silhouette now, actually. That is one that uh, you guys said I should try to find. That is one of the Onyx Watch old-style ships. A huge broadsider with lots of cannons and materials. Just not really any good against aircraft. So I think I might be able to take advantage of that. Or should I just keep on killing this thing? Hmm. That's a good question, actually. Should I? I, I was looking at it head-on and I didn't recognise the shape of it. But it seems to have... Um... Huh. Hang on a sec. Okay, I think that craft below me is now dead in the water. So, I'm just going to park here for the moment. Cancel my build mode and let it keep on bombing it. Because I did increase the gauge as well, so these shells are... They're still they're firing about as fast as you saw before. But the thing is, whenever they do fire, they are doing... Yeah, 1,400 explosive damage, so pretty good. Right. Am I facing the right way to see what I'm after? Where are they in relation to me? They are to my left, right. Oh yeah, killed it. Okay. I've got that. Now... I think that Onyx, Wa Onyx Watchship is about to engage a Marauder. So let's see, that Onyx Watchship is um, doing just fine. There is also a gate over there, sure. But, and the silhouette looks like a Marauder at this distance, but I don't know what it is. Is it... It's a Marauder. Okay, excellent. Right, I know where I'm going next. Let's turn and accelerate. Because the ship amount below me has just... Hang on a sec, it's, it's just died and there's a ton of resources in the water. Um, I need to find some space. Hmm. Here? Yeah. Okay, that should do it, right. Unfortunately, there's nothing left to catch there, so I'm just going to have to fly. Full throttle! Oop! Oh, no, no. Yep, yeah, okay, it's bouncing out again. Fine. Okay, I'm good. I just want to get involved in that before stuff gets too badly damaged for me to salvage it. So, yeah, I'll see you very, very shortly. And now it's turning in the... Now it's turning in the opposite direction. Uh, okay, sadly, that um, cluster of black down there, which is just falling apart, is what's left of the Onyx Watch ship. The Marauder's main cannon was far too much for it, as I kind of thought. Oops, turn this way. Yeah, the main cannon is a serious issue with the Marauder. It is massively powerful. But, as long as it doesn't actually flip and hit me, I should be just fine. Let's actually turn, because this craft is now a bit more stable since I put some extra weight on the back. Ah, bombs are starting to fire. Good. 
The Marauder picked up that on its watch ship. I'm going to pick up the Marauder because the Marauder can't do a thing against me. And since it's mostly wood, I should also be doing some serious damage with my bombs as well. Though sadly, it, it should also have a fair bit of resources for... Ow! Okay, that looked rather nasty. Hmm. So let's, let's, let's continue a little bit of building while my bombs are firing. That seems like a prudent course of action. Yeah, let's do it like that. Sure. It's, it's moved out of range, but I think I've had some significant hits on it. I think I blew up its main engine, so that's good. And there's nothing nearby as well, so... Things are continuing to go strangely well for me. Yep, that was another massive hit on it. And it's... Yeah, it's getting battered quite badly. Though I am still lacking the firepower to very quickly deal with it. I must note that. Now... While I am sitting here, letting my bombs do the work, and very, very, very slowly kill the ships underneath, Despite its sheer power, it is still quite a slow weapon. I need more bombs, really, to make it effective. But it, it does the job. It does the job. And I can't complain about that now, can I? Yeah, this should be fine. Now then. One thing I want to do is I want to get um, some actual other offensive options up and ready to fire on this particular craft. And so to do that, what I need to do is start laying the groundwork. A local weapon controller out on this rim, because that is what these metal, sorry, these wooden spars are. They are here to provide a base and an insulation around an AI connection. So let's go ahead and get the connectors out and funnel it all the way back. And the reason I'm using wood for this is so that it can insulate against an EMP strike, so the EMP won't just surge straight into it and then go straight into my AI core. Which I don't actually have an AI core as such, because right now my AI is still very much haphazardly grafted into where my bombing cannon is. So that is expansion for a later date. I pressed P. Give me that. There we go. Okay. And the connection to the AI is going to have to be from on top here, like this. So, connect it through my protective sidings, like that. Okay. New AI connection established. Excellent. I just need to complete evening out the defences around it, that's all. And for this I need some actual wooden blocks, of all things. So. Another bit of insulation around it on top, and then a beam 3, like that. Okay, so the plan is to have the AI connections I've just put together actually enclosed by what's going on. Yep, you go ahead. Oh yeah, that Marauder's just coming apart now. Excellent. Now then, what do I plan to use in this section? I plan to use torpedoes, actually. And the torpedoes are going to be stacked underneath here in a two-axis turret. Now, I know about turrets because I've used them a hell of a lot. And yep, it's immediately turned straight for it. Sure. I've used turrets a hell of a lot, so I know what I'm doing with them. And I generally prefer one-axis turrets because for heavy turrets, they are the universal way to go. And... Really, you don't want this massive cannon just flopping all over the place, not if you can help it. But for small turrets, if you build them correctly, a two-way, two-axis turret is actually a good way to go about it. Let me see now, I need a flipping controller to latch into there. Yep. Then I'm going to use a pair of connectors like that. Yep. I need the N. So sure, let's go and get a launch pad. This is going to be my close-in torpedo system as soon as I get it uh, sorted out so where's the gantries? Gantries, right how long do I want this to be? Um, yeah, five blocks should be just fine, more than adequate yeah, that, that looks pretty good as you can see, because it's um, 
a two axis turret it's tipping and focusing really well so this is going to be causing some drag issues for my actual craft there's no way around that let's see I want to add a pair of torp tubes add a single where's the fins add a single fin yep pair of fuel tanks it doesn't need a one turn because the turret's going to take care of the turning aspects of it and let's go to add a ballast tank some frag warheads and a torpedo sonar okay so this is going to be a modestly powerful torpedo system hitting at a decent range um, ballast ignore yep that's all fine ascent to all length okay so that's fine that's going to be a nice little torpedo system but I don't have the ammo system to support this thing because my bombs are going to take care of it all like that and I'm actually getting ahead of the craft I need to turn around Hey, turn, turn, turn. Yep. Okay. Let's get back into position so the bombs can start firing again. Because I don't think that thing is dead. Or, or is my bomb actually just out of ammo? Because that is a distinct possibility, unfortunately, with this particular craft. Um, my cram cannon has plenty of ammo, actually. Okay, so why isn't it firing? Oh, I just wandered a bit too far away. Okay, sure. Go ahead, keep blowing that guy up, please. Thank you. Now, I need somewhere to put the ammo. I need somewhere safe to put the ammo. I don't have anywhere safe to put the ammo. And that is a sad truth, because my craft is still very much a work in progress. So, I'm going to extend this particular roofing section out, like this. And I'm going to install more ammo in this sector here. I'm, I'm literally packing the space I'm sitting in <laughs> with more and more and more high explosive materials. So this all strikes me as terribly safe. Yeah. Any hit on my upper section is likely to just destroy me outright. Oh yeah, that, that did some damage, definitely. Anyway, back to my turret. This thing is working okay, but I want to get it uh, actually covered, and I need to add some more mods to it. So, missiles. I want these missiles to eject, since they are torpedoes, so that will help it at range. I wanted the two axis to it like this, so I can actually, it can just launch straight down at it, like this. So that's all good. I need to turn off the mirror mode for a second, so I can grab a staggered fire, which I'll tune to 0.3 seconds, yep and an identify friend and foe just in case because you never know so that should help out a lot yep down it goes straight onto the main cannon section boom <laughs> now these things are meant to be used at a greater range rather than up blank like this because um, of the frag cones so from down on top like this it's not that effective it's actually more effective to just use the bombs that are still going off Huh. Um, yeah, like this. Actually, I might as well just do it like that. Yep. And then one underneath, like so. Yep. Now, the thing with this two-axis turret is you have to be very careful with how you design it. So, I'm going to put this tilt like that so it doesn't interfere with how it's flopping around. Like that, so I can continue to point downwards and all that stuff. So that's like that. Yep. Get another, like this so that's fine yep that's all looking good and this is going to successfully armor this entire turret and as you can see the entire thing is twisting around to get a decent bead on where the marauder is beneath me because that's how these uh, turrets work now to finish the armoring I just need the down slopes down slope fours normally it's a slight risk with um, a missile system like this but that's also why I've got the ejector system on it as well because that will keep it from just blowing up in the tube it just kicks the entire torpedo out the front of the turret and off it goes to do l wonderful nasty things to whatever's in its general direction of travel oops didn't mean to take care of that I think the marauders yep the marauders too bad his damage is about to die 
And I am doing wonderfully for resources. And there we go. With no enemy to shoot at, the turret just gravitates up and resets itself like that. And there we go. One small torpedo turret loaded underneath one of my wings. Though, of course, because this is a flyer, bounces <laughs> Onyx Watch ship coming my way. Because this is a flyer, I, I need to balance it, so I'm actually going to do some quick bits of configuration. Since this is, um, since this is a two-axis turret, I don't want it to point upwards because that would be pointless for this particular craft, so maximum elevation... I think it's minimum elevation that I want to be affecting because it's upside down. Yes, it is. So minimum of elevation is set to zero, so it can't tilt upwards in this case. It only tilts downwards. And then I'm just going to quickly save that sub-object, assuming it lets me. There we go. Right. Um, da -da -da. I'll just save it in there. Yep. Oh, look, it's noticed the, um, the other craft. The torpedoes are going after it. Silly ship. I don't think they're going to enjoy that, to be honest. Not really. Turn the turret upside down, build it. And there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Honestly, this has been an extremely productive episode, and it's going to tip the scales at just over 35 minutes, I think. Yep, missiles are pointing your way. They know you're there. So don't disappoint them. Though because I'm so short on ammo, I'm going to have to do something about that. I don't want to use ammo processors, so my eventual goal is to build an ammo core, but because of um, how volatile such an arrangement is, it's not really a good idea in general. Come on, let's keep stalking this thing. I was going to end the episode a few minutes ago, but because I was in the middle of building the turret, and because this thing has just turned up, I thought, hey... I'm going to show you guys a little bit more and just see how it goes because I don't think there's any more enemies nearby. No, not really. There go the missiles. Uh -huh. The missiles aren't really that good at this kind of range now, are they? Actually, I'm going to make a quick change on my original design. I'm going to actually adjust the balance tank so it gives it a float depth of uh, 10. Yeah. And I'm going to do the same to this one as well. See if a float depth will actually help them come back up. Now, to be honest, because of the, the way the torpedoes are fitted, that only works at a distance. So I need to catch up with it now and start dropping bombs on it. And really, I'm flying too high for this kind of system. It'll give me some range damage against ships, but up close where the bombs are working, these torpedoes are actually going to be kind of useless for the most part. Unless I'm sitting right on top of the craft. There is that. And yeah, I've not got anything like enough ammo to sustain fire. I'm actually going to call it there, because this is going to take an absolute age to kill, but you know that I'm in pursuit of it. You know what I've done in terms of a slight upgrade to my weapon systems. So yeah. This has been Iron Mark III. Thank you very much for watching my... Honestly, this is still an adventure from the depths, and I am doing a lot better... My ship is definitely improving at a steady pace now. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you some other time. Oh, before I go, I almost forgot. There's one thing I want to ask, and that is... Well, the question I want to pose is, how often do you want these videos to be showing up in a week? Because I know there's been a comment asking for daily... Unfortunately, daily is not something I can pull off with my schedule and the times it takes to record and edit these things. So, if you have a general preference, just let me know. And I'll see what I can do. So, yeah. That's it.
I'm actually going to stop the video now. Catch you later. And pretty soon after that ending to the video, well, that slow end to the video, the ship is dead. More resources for me. I win. <laughs> Excellent.